Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Ruth Sander. I'm part of the course search team and DH department at the Berlin Brandenburg Academy of Sciences. And I'm here today to give you a brief introduction to course search and present to you our new functionalities. So first off, what is course search? Course search is a web service that we first developed in 2014 in response to the community's demand for a method of searching for historical letters. Um, as you know, there's a massive amount of letters out there and it's become impossible even for researchers to know precisely where to find all these letters, um, especially if they're interested in a particular person whose correspondences are scattered across different editions. So course search tries, or takes a step towards aiding researchers in these endeavors. This image gives, um, well, shows the concept of course search and how it works. So digital and printed scholarly editions of letters provide um, correspondence metadata on their letters in the SMIF or correspondence metadata interchange format, um, which is then stored on the web space of the providers. Course search then aggregates this metadata um, to present it in a cross um, project or a search that across projects. Um, and because this, these files are um, located by the providers, they can also be updated and reharvested. Um, so the aim of course search is to show you or to redirect you to the editions that are relevant to you and your research. All the metadata is also free licensed, so either CC0 or CC BY, and is also open for reuse through APIs. Let's have a look at the data. At the moment, we have um, over 220,000, metadata on over 220,000 letters. Um, from over 370 um, publications and uh, 60 different data providers. As you can see here, we've got a continuous, well, continuous support from the community who supply us with this, um, these metadata. Um, it should be noted, however, that um, there was up until recently no funding really for the collection of this metadata um, up until last year through this um, DFG project, the German letter in the 18th century. So all of course search couldn't function without the community and it really is a group project. Um, also noteworthy is that course search doesn't place any thematical, temporal, or um, what did I miss? Um, thematic, temporal, spatial, that one, <laughs> uh, limitations. Um, so really, we're happy to accept anything if you have letters that you want to include. Um, here's a small impression of what the TMI, uh, TEI XML um, based SMIF looks like. I won't go into great detail, but um, noteworthy again here would be the uh, authority file IDs for people, places, occupations, and the machine readable dates. Um, the IDs from the authority files are in particular are important for two reasons. Um, the first would be to um, allow for linking across projects, but also we use the IDs for our search rather than, for example, strings. Um, and by the way, the uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to look at my things. Um, the Smith was created by or developed by the TEI Correspondence Special Interest Group. And if you want to find out more about that, um, they have all the information on their GitHub repository. So looking at course search, we offer seven different search options um, that can be stacked by sending several searches or through the, um, through the extended search. Uh, we offer a autocomplete to simplify the search process, but also it's also necessary because we use the um, authority file IDs rather than strings. And then once the uh, search has been sent, all the, uh, all the search results can be further explored or filtered by adding further filters or excluding filters through our facets. 
new to the facets, um, or we have several new facets, but most notable would be the occupations and the gender facets. And these are only made possible um, by aggregating or querying more information from authority files and geo uh, sorry, not geonamed, wiki data. We also offer a second search option or method, which would be the map, uh, the map based search. And here you can either search for, well, you can search for letters in a given region that you can mark on the map yourself. And, <laughs> um, and also set a time period for the letters. Or you can pick predetermined uh, pre um, um, areas uh, that are based on uh, state boundaries that are also su that are supplied from Histo GIS, um, a web service from the Austrian Academy of Sciences and Humanities. Um, the map-based search relies on coordinates from geonames and uh, the mappings done through leaflet. So, if you're interested in collaborating and supplying data, uh, we offer several tools um, to help you in that process. Next to tutorials, videos. Um, and Q&As, we also have, for example, uh, the Smith Creator. And you don't need any technical knowledge for this. It's just you simply fill out the form, and then you can, it, it creates the Smith file in the background. Um, you can also update files that you've already previously made. Um, and then once that's complete, we offer two tools uh, to check your Smith files. So the first would be Smith Check. Um, this one checks or validates your Smith files against a RNG schema, uh, schema and a schematron, and um, also tests the GND IDs for the correct assignment to feature classes. So that's a problem that we often face with the searches, especially for um, yeah, for the GNAs and places. Um, the second one is Smith Preview. And this kind of gives you an overview of the data in your, your collection or the sample letter collection, and it mimics what users see on course search once we've aggregated or once we've harvested the information. Um, it also provides some st uh, basic statistics on your file to help you find some outliers or possible mistakes, like a typo or something, if you suddenly have a letter that's dated 100 years prior to your actual data set. Um, all of these tools were developed from our past experience from the past nine years, um, but those aren't the only ways to create SMA files. Uh, other ways include using scripts uh, and APIs from the databases, uh, processing data through regex, CSV, and open refine, or, for example, here, um, this is a web app from the Saw, from Saw Leipzig that transform CSV files directly into Smith. So, another uh, feature that Course Search offers is um, CS, CS Link. Um, it's a free licensed JavaScript widget that you can incorporate into your own digital edition. And um, so for each le individual letter, it shows the correspondence, the correspondences that the letters receive, uh, the receipt, Sorry, the letters recipient um, has received or sent in the same time period. So this example is from the Karl Maria van Weber Gesamtausgabe and um, shows all the correspondences from Louis Spohr sent at the same time period. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that uh, brings me towards the end and our, what, what we've planned for the future. Um, yeah, we have a, a lot planned to expand on our web service and, and improve it. Um, some would include expanding on the search functionalities based on um, Smith version 2. Um, that would include things like um, mention people and places in the letters. Uh, also coming up soon would be the main language used in the letter the letter that was written in. Um, that's probably in the next couple of weeks, but we'll see. Um, we also want to incorporate a full text search. And 
also high on the list is improving our API and uh, offering a Sparkle endpoint. So if I've piqued your interest and you want to join, please find me afterwards or um, send us an email. We're always happy to hear from the community because it really is a group effort. Um, thank you for your attention. <laughs> Thank you.